Welcome to the Lisk Casino demo. I will walk you through the Lisk Casino application today and we will start here on the homepage where we can see the different games we have. Right now we are still working on the roulette and we are still working on the dice game. So we will focus on the blackjack and on the lottery for now. Let's start with creating a new account. We press the register button, we choose an avatar, we copy the passphrase, we choose a username and we sign up. And when you are logged in you can see your username in the top right with your balance here. So let's start to take a look at the lottery page. Here we are on the lottery page we can see that the next draw will be in 35 blocks. The prize pool is over 4000 LISC and here we can see the previous rounds with the four winning numbers and we can see how many people won. So right now nobody won in the previous round. So later on we will buy some tickets to play in this lottery. Let's start on the blackjack table now to have some fun over there. We can here choose our bet. So let's start with 10 LISC. We press the deal button to start a new game which gives us these cards. So we start with 15. Let's hit this one. And we choose stand. One more time. Maybe we will have some more luck. Let's bet 10 more. We press the deal button to start a new game. Here we are again with 13. We press the hit button for now. And let's stand this one. And we won. So that's a good start. So let's get back to the lottery where we have 20 more blocks to wait. Let's buy some tickets for now. I would say let's go big on this one. So we have 1000 lists so let's buy 175 tickets. They will show up here in our ticket overview as you can see here. And in 15 blocks we will see if we won. So one more cool thing we added to the casino project is the charity page. And here we can see there is a charity fund. So from all the profit that the casino makes a certain percentage will be sent to this fund automatically. And here the casino community will be able to vote on certain projects to decide which project, which charity should receive these funds. So this will basically create some kind of DAO in our ecosystem, which is really cool. And one more thing we can see here is on the top, the jackpot with right now 209 LISC in it. The cool thing about this jackpot is that you play with every bet in the casino automatically within this jackpot. The jackpot is filled with a certain percentage of all the losses in the casino, but with every bet you place, you have a chance to win it all, which is really cool. So let's get back to the lottery page to see if we won. And we got some luck. As you can see here, we won with one ticket. And if we take a look at the previous round, we can see that indeed one person had two numbers matching the winning numbers so that was me and i won almost 500 lisk so if i press the claim button here we will see that the reward will be added to our balance 630 lisk really cool so this was the demo of the lisk casino project let's go to Jure now who will walk you through the code a little bit Thanks for watching. So welcome. Uh, this is the so this is the technical part. Um, we only look at backend because that's the blockchain side. Um, with the Lisk SDK, you can create a fairly simple backend. Um, you create your own blockchain network, and it consists of modules. You can also create plugins, um, but now we 
uh, are looking only at the modules. The modules define the blockchain logic. And in this case, we created three different modules for three different games and one module uh, to create random numbers. So the RNG module is a random number generator. Uh, it makes use of Prendo. In this case, it's a module that can be, uh, we can push it to NPM where we are going to do that. And then you can just import it and use it in your own blockchain application if you would like to. Um, what it does, it lets other modules invoke, uh, invoke this module to get a random number. So you can get a random number uh, by providing a seed and a super seed um, if you would like to have a super seed. And uh, then what you get back is a number, is a random number, but it is deterministic. So you create, if every computer has to get the same result, so you need to have a deterministic random number generator. So this module can be invoked to um, ask for that number. And the other modules are actually like the games and the game logic. So if we take a look at the lottery module, for example, we here at first see, see the account schema. So you have an account on our blockchain and we would like to store a little bit more information than is standard because we are playing a lottery. So what do you would, would you like to store? You would like to store the tickets that you have bought. Um, we would like to store the nuns. And you also would like, uh, we would like to store uh, prices. If you have one, um, then your ticket uh, goes to the price array. And that, uh, that makes sure that you can actually claim that price. So if we look back to here, you see uh, the actions that are exposed by this module. So other modules and the website, the front end can um, retrieve some information. And then here you see what we actually would like to do. I would like to buy a ticket or I would like to claim a price. So these are the blockchain custom transactions transaction assets now and if we go to buy a ticket then this is the logic that defines how you can buy a ticket and what actually happens is that after doing some checks here you uh, get into a loop where a ticket is created for you so if you buy 20 tickets for example uh, then it, uh, it creates a nonce it defines in which round we are currently uh, and it provides an, uh, a template for a ticket uh, which it fills with information. And then it does it again and again and again again. Those tickets are stored again in the lottery account here. And after a round, if you have won, it will be stored in the prices. So if you want to claim a price, then you go, yeah, then you need a transaction to perform that action. You go to claim a price. So here, the logic of claiming a price has been defined. And uh, let's go on to the poker module. Actually, uh, it's a bad name because it is the game Blackjack. But so we have a game lottery and we have a game Blackjack. So this is our Blackjack game. You have an account schema. Again, uh, what kind of information would we like to store? We would like to store the games you are in. And uh, these actions are exposed these reducers are exposed and here are the transaction assets so you have all kinds of you need the game logic to create a new hand uh, to actually um, get a new card or say okay i'm holding these cards i'm not going to uh, get any new cards you can even split your hand or uh, double your um, amount that you have bet so in the poker here you can see the assets we have defined them here and that's it basically 